Hey guys, I hope everyone's day is going well. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mowl Obsession Plus. This is a really satisfying and fun bimetal throw actually from Mowl, and I'm super excited to talk more about it. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. So first things first, I want to give a quick shout out to Kenta Kushiro as well as Mowl for making this entire video possible. They sent me this yo-yo along with three other Mowl yo-yos, and I'm super excited to talk more about those. Those will be coming out in other reviews, but I just want to give a shout out to Mowl and Kenta for sending me these yo-yos. All their links and contact information will be in the description down below, so be sure to check them out at the very end of this video. Okay, so in order to get just an idea about what the Obsession Plus is all about, let's first take a look at the specs and then we'll talk more about the design. Alright, so just taking a look at the specs, nothing really jumps out to me as being super irregular in any way. This is generally a bit of an undersized yo-yo. The diameter and width are a little bit on the smaller side, but the weight is pretty appropriate coming in at 64 grams. It's also worth noting that this is a bimetal yo-yo, so we have these stainless steel rims on the ends there that you can see, super shiny and polished. They look awesome. Now, let's just take a look at this actual design. So first, starting with the shape, we've got a really nice and curvy organic design. You can see we've got those bimetal rims on the outside, and then just a really nice nice, satisfying slope down to the bearing. I'm a big fan of these types of shapes because they're super comfortable to hold in the hand and they also make it super satisfying to play with. Now moving on over to the cup, we've got a couple interesting things here. You can see first that the bimetal rim actually does wrap all the way around to the inside. A lot of bimetals just have their bimetal rim on the outside of the yo-yo or the inside of the yo-yo, but this bimetal rim actually wraps all the way around to the inside, so you're going to get a ton and a ton of rim weight out of this yo-yo. From there, we've got this really cool artwork and design. So it's like these two hands that are kind of like circling around a brain. Really looks cool. Mao is definitely known for having these awesome artwork and engravings. That's kind of one of their signature things. And this yo-yo is no exception. You can also see it has engraved their Mao Obsession at the very bottom, which looks awesome. Now, with the actual design of the cup, the center of the cup is actually a little bit convex. So it bulges out a little bit. And then there's also, it's kind of hard to see, but a little dimple in the middle, kind of a little nub right there. So that's going to add a little bit more center weight and also will allow for a larger axle to be used with this yo-yo. In general, I'm a big fan of the shape. I'm a, I love my organic shapes because they're so satisfying to use and throw, and this one definitely fits nice and comfortably in my hand. It's a little bit on the undersized, but that's just gonna make this yo-yo a little bit more on the unique side. So without any further ado, let's talk a little bit more about the, how this yo-yo actually feels on the string. All right, so how does the Mowl Obsession Plus play on the string? This is a very, very special yo-yo, guys. The first thing I noticed was just how satisfying this yo-yo was. Since this is an organic shape and it's a bimetal design, this is an incredibly satisfying yo-yo to play with. It definitely exudes a ton of stability. You can tell that. It's got those large rims there, but it's not overbearing or overpowering. That's one thing I wanted to note. Sometimes when there's a little bit too much rim weight, it can feel kind of just harsh to play with. It feels like you're kind of throwing around a brick on the string. This yo-yo is an exception to that standard. This yo is very, very fun to play with. And I think that's really contributed to this awesome organic shape. When they have those kind of curvy rims and curvy design, it just makes it a lot more fun to play with the yo-yo, and it doesn't feel like stale in any way. As you can see, fast tricks were really pretty easy with this yo. I wouldn't say this yo is like very extreme in regards to floaty or heaviness. I'd say it's pretty middle of the road, but I found that without too much work on accelerating this yo, I was able to get it up to speed and playing nice and quick. It also is an undersized yo-yo, so there's less volume that actually needs to travel through the air, which makes it a little bit easier to do faster tricks with. This yo-yo definitely kept up in regards to power, even though it is undersized. Since it's got those beefy rims right there, it really spun for a nice long time, and I was actually super impressed with how long this thing could spin for. I would finish one of my longer combos, and this yo-yo would still have a good amount of spin left, which is definitely a testament to its stability. I thought that whips, slacks, and hops, and all those types of tricks were pretty good with this yo-yo. Um, it's important to note that since this is an undersized yo-yo, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to land those tricks than if you had, as opposed to like a really wide wide yo-yo, but I didn't really have too much trouble with any of these. Just note, remember, it's an undersized yo-yo, so you gotta take that into account. Binds and regens with this yo-yo were incredibly satisfying. Because of that nice organic shape and because of the response system that Mao always nails, regens were very consistent and not snaggy, and binds were also exceptional. They felt very satisfying, and I felt like I could rip off each throw with a decent amount of power as well. Horizontal with this yo-yo was actually shockingly good. I was really impressed with this. This yo-yo stayed on axis really, really well, and when I was doing some of my more extreme horizontal tricks or pushing it to its limits, it was still able to kind of finish through with those. I think that's a testament to the large bimetal rims that really help out with the stability and spin time. And then finally, grinds with this yo-yo were pretty darn good. 
good. This shape is a little bit more on the narrow side, so it's a little bit more friction against your finger when you're doing a grind. However, I still found that with a good throw, I could do nice finger grinds, talon grinds. With finger sprints, I wouldn't really recommend them with this yo, since it's got that kind of scratchy engraving in there. It's not very satisfying to do, but all the other grinds were great. Alright, so in conclusion, the Mao Obsession Plus is an exceptional yo-yo. It really is so satisfying and fun to play with. It's got that nice undersized feel, so it doesn't feel like a stale competition yo-yo. It doesn't have overbearing rim weight, but it's definitely got a ton of power and stability, and I was very impressed with the playability of this yo-yo. I would say this is the perfect yo-yo for someone who's kind of wanting a really fun and enjoyable throw that can also perform very well. That's one of those more undersized bimetals. I think it's perfect for those requirements. Alright, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Also, if you guys are new here and haven't seen my videos before, hit the subscribe button so you can see whenever I post a new video. I hope you guys all have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.